गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू last class we completed the reaction hydroboration oxidation uh, hydroboration oxidation uh, hydroboration oxidation actually what will come uh, allyl alcohols will come but on tautomerism those converted to aldehydes aldehydes next take heading ozonolysis ozone analysis ozone analysis this is ozone analysis totally two types you know already ozone analysis reaction one is oxidative uh, oxidative ozone analysis another one is what reductive ozone analysis reductive ozone analysis okay oxidative ozone analysis another one is reductive ozone analysis oxidative ozone analysis o3 plus h reductive ozone analysis o3 plus h2 o2 plus dimethyl sulfoxide okay one is oxidative was analysis another one is reductive was analysis is okay with regarding this any other side you make it better solvents totally two types polar sulfide non polar solvents and polar solvents non polar solvents means dipole moment nu equal to 0 those are non polar solvents non polar solvents nu not equal to 0 those are polar polar solvents polar solvents for suppose listen here it is this um, dipole moment calculation is just to better better okay when net moment is zero then dipole moment is zero already mm -hmm. i given you again i am explaining see carefully sp2 hybridization with linear structure dipole moment is zero, zero. sp2 hybridization with zero lone pairs trigonal planar planar trigonal planar dipole moment is zero why because listen if you are taken trigonal structure like this only na for suppose listen i am taking bcl3 these two net moment down to here only the resultant moment down. this is yes. one up to one down net moment is zero zero for suppose listen Uh, sometimes to confuse they will give like this bit it is also sp2 hybridization sp2 hybridization trigonal planar structure only but dipole moment is not equal. not equal to zero why be, why because the shear atoms are different. Different. different different sir you told dipole moment sp2 hybridization trigonal planar zero so they given i put zero answer after came out the exam you are explaining it is not zero means that is you are common sense better net moment here b bond f b bond c here b bond c here net moment it won't trans zero so listen when you are zero at zero then only we can say that is zero next sp3 hybridization 
sp3 hybridization better sp3 hybridization with zero lone pairs tetra tetrahedral tetrahedral structure so listen here it is this is ccl4 beta carbon tetra chloride c here it is cl here it is cl here it is cl here it is cl beta okay these three chlorines net movement center to downwards listen suppose listen carefully beta one question i am asking on this board i am just taking one line from here to here okay now this my line touching three chlorines but practically if you have taken tetrahedral structure tetrahedral structure if you are taken it did never touch any other Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, listen carefully, beta. This CCL four I am taking here. It is. This is CL chlorine, chlorine, chlorine. I am taking. Tetrahedral structure means this carbon one chlorine upwards. These three chlorines are not in the same plane, beta. Two are front side, one is back side. Back side. So how? So what about net movement? This is upside movement, and of these three car, these three chlorines net movement center to downwards. Downwards. So net movement is not equal to zero. Equal to zero. Net movement is equal to zero. Tetrahedral structure. Net movement is three chlorine zero. This tetrahedral structure you see better. Hmm. This is your tetrahedral structure better. Okay. This is uh, like this present. Okay. Back side also be there one that is not visible for you like this better. So now listen. These three there na. This this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Yes, sir. Which three carbons net movement is this three center to downwards. Upwards net movement is zero. Zero. So CCL four net movement is zero. Zero. Okay. So CCL four and here it is. Benzene also non-polar solvent and uh, cyclohexane also non-polar solvent. Here it is listen. These are polar solvents. These two types of data. One is polar protic and the other one is polar a protic. Polar protic means polar protic means these releases. What is it? This releases H plus. Polar aprotic means they won't release H plus. H plus. Question also there is in the following which is polar solvent, which is non-polar solvent, which is polar aprotic solvent, which is polar. 
aprotic solvent non polar solvents we can give answer very easily dipole moment is zero then i can say no they are non polar non dipole moment not equal to zero those are polar now our task to identify polar aprotic and polar aprotic i am giving here it is polar aprotic solvents what is this beta H2OH means water only na mm -hmm. sorry sorry H2OH now this is CH3 bond OH CH3 C double bond O bond OH okay like this OH formed possible to write then I say that is polar protein polar protein so, so like this uh, polar protein this is NaOH sodium hydroxide solution also is it polar protein solvent means like that I can't tell better okay sodium hydroxide is a basic solution listen solvents we use listen carefully water alcohol carboxylic acid carbon tetrachloride benzene and then cyclohexane cyclohexane these are common solvents solvents so those solvents regarding and explaining which one is polar protic and polar non protic a protic a protic then you are taking this means that is your problem okay it is unable to use as Solvent. Solvent. solvent that's why these won't consider into this which solvents are possible? which are able to use solvents those i am explaining which one is non polar 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 Sol protic polar a protic a protic now what a protic examples i am giving those only our solvents solvents so reason that is H O H O H possible to write O H possible to write O H possible to write in the structure. Those we can say polar protic solvents. Polar protic. Well, because listen carefully. Water will split up into H plus and O H minus. O H minus. Means it release H plus. C H three bond O H is there na. Alcohols. If not only C H three bond O H, R bond O H. It will become R bond O minus and H plus. That's why protein releasing. That's why polar. Polar protic. CH3. Here yeah, not only CH3. See, you take R C O O H. Acid it is carboxylic acid. It also releases H plus. That's why polar protic. For suppose I am giving to you. What is your opinion on this? This phenol I am using as solvent. It is polar protic or polar a protic. Polar protic. Polar protic. One more I am giving to you. This one is C double bond O O H. What is your opinion? Polar. Protic. Protic. So like this, in the following, which one is polar protic solvent? Polar a protic solvent. Like that, our polar protic identification like this. Your compound is able to write in this O H format. Compulsory that release. H plus. H plus. H plus. Okay. So now here it is. These you take under the examples for polar. Protic. Next polar a protic. Polar a protic means this won't release. H plus. H plus. H plus. You see examples. CH3 C double bond O bond CH3. Its name is acetone. Acetone, propanone. Is it is it possible to write as OH format? No sir. No, so sir. it is polar. A protic. A protic solvent. And this is result. How many methyl groups better? So dimethyl. This is what sulfur. This is what 
oxygen this is dimethyl sulfoxide oxide just now only in ozonolysis reaction you see i given this this one only yes sir yes. Uh, ch3 taken twice sbo okay dimethyl sulf sulfoxide sulfoxide next one listen here it is this is what is this one beta if this name is amine 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 r bond nh2 is amine r c double bond o nh2 is amide amide in this amide these two hydrogens i am removing i am substituting with ch methyl group methyl group so dimethyl amide amide for suppose listen carefully what is this one beta formaldehyde formaldehyde what is this beta in formaldehyde one hydrogen i am removing and substituting in amide so this part now it is amide amide it is formaldehyde formaldehyde now listen what is this one beta this is previously you told this acetaldehyde this is formaldehyde this is acetaldehyde in acetaldehyde hydrogen i am removing i am substituting an h2 it is acetamide it is acetamide now listen these two hydrogens i am removing and keeping ch3 and ch3 dimethyl formaldehyde formaldehyde this is dmf dimethyl formaldehyde this you need to write to understand and explain dimethyl formaldehyde it is also very famous polar polar aprotic solvent now listen this is acetamide here also two hydrogens i am replacing with ch3 dimethyl acetamide acetamide this is dmf dma and this is dimethyl sulfoxide this they will give like this beta dms dimethyl sulfoxide and dmf and dma these are the polar aprotic solvents aprotic solvents once again listen carefully beta polar non polar solvents carbon tetrachloride benzene cyclo hexane hexane wherever solvent dipole moment mu equal to 0 those are non polar solvents non polar, non -polar solvents, solvents. mu not equal to 0 those are polar solvents polar solvents polar solvents polar, solvents. polar, polar a protic polar protic polar Pro protic solvents are water alcohols carboxylic acids phenols these all are polar protic solvents polar aprotic solvents acetone dimethyl sulfoxide dimethyl formaldehyde dimethyl acetamide acetamide okay so now i am coming for our ozonolysis reaction First, you take a thing with the oxidative was analysis. Oxidative was analysis. Oxidative was analysis. What are the reagents? Better both three and 
oxidative ozone analysis they cover in carboxylic acid in ester reductive ozone analysis they cover in aldehydes okay so listen mechanism everything known and better mechanism already which intermediate will form better in ozone analysis the intermediate formed in ozone analysis which one better molozonide once you cross check mechanism i given to you shortcut but already mechanism with you shall i give few examples yes sir yes sir ah uh, chal once again before going to examples i must i am giving detailed explanation for you in ozone analysis reaction oxidative reductive both they are better oxidative ozone analysis reagents are ozone h2o2 that's all reductive ozone analysis reagents are o3 h2o2 plus zn r dimethyl sulfide s in oxidative ozone analysis carboxylic acids are the products in reductive ozone analysis aldehydes are the products listen just double bond Sir, your mic is muted, sir. Okay, beta. Oh, yes. okay, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, in reductive ozone analysis, in reductive ozone analysis, okay. here we have to make this reduction, this reduction. For suppose, I am giving how do you deal ozone analysis for alkynes like this. We has to break this double bond. CH three C double bond go bond. That's all. This is the product for alkenes. Thanks. Always ozone analysis able to form only. How many bonds better? Two bonds are more than two bonds. Two bonds. Then. Two. Okay. Now write down examples. Sir, C double bond O one percent adjacently you said, sir. Two. C double bond O groups one percent adjacently you said, sir. Okay. Adjacent two C double bond O group not present means repulsion is present. That's why flipping take place there. Okay. Next write down questions. Examples. Right on examples for ozone analysis.
take take question beta uh, complete the write the was analysis products for the following oxidative or reductive both both, both. L is oxidative, L is reductive, like that you take. Or else, first you take reductive, then you write oxidative. This I am taking, this side oxygen, this side oxygen. So product is two more sum. CH3, CH4. Here product is two more sum, CH3 bond. COOH. COOH. Here product is, I am breaking this one and this side action, this side action. What is the product better? It is one, two, three, four, Lina. How many carbons there? Four carbons. Four carbons, first carbon, fourth carbon are aldehyde functional groups. Aldehyde. So one, two, CH4. three, four. Here it is CHO, here it is CHO. CHO. Now here the product is 1, 2, 3, 4. It is C double bond O, o H. It is C double bond O, o H. O H. In this. This is third one very important. I am breaking this eroxyl, eroxyl. Any chance there to form carboxylic acid? All the hell? No, sir. No, it will give you pakka. Ketones. Ketones. Six carbons. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. It is a C double bond row bond. CH3. It is C double bond row bond. CH3. CH3. Now suppose one four thousand and farming data. This is giving idea for you to form ketones. This is I'm doing was analysis. O3 plus H2O. What is your product? Breaking oxygen and oxygen. What is the product? Acetone. Acetone. Two moles of CH3 C double bond O bond CH3. Acetone is the product. Completed? Yes, sir. Next question, next side the reactions of periodic acid. Reactions of per iodic acid. Reactions of per iodic acid. Reactions of per iodic acid. Write down there. What is uh, per iodic acid reactions also we did better. Listen here one, ex one question and one explanation I am giving. Try to get back. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. This is CH2 bond OH. Here it is OH, OH, OH. Here it is OH. What is this many structure is? Glucose. Yes. Glucose. This I am reacting with the power. Iodic acid. Iodic acid. At that moment, what we have to do better? We have to make the, like this. Divisions. Are you getting reaction? 
what is the sequence of oxidation aldehydes undergo oxidation alcohols to aldehydes aldehydes to k carboxylic acids alcohols on oxidation forms aldehydes aldehydes on oxidation forms carboxylic acids carboxylic acids carboxylic acid on oxidation forms co2 and h2 co2 and h2 in your oxidation formic acid forming means that furtherly converted to co2 and h2 co2 and h2 listen when you are dividing the compound like this first of the carbon which is getting two divided lines that undergo two times oxidation oxidation this carbon getting how many lines beta one line one line how many undergo oxidation oxidation how many times one day one day one time so your product is one of the product is hcooh hcooh it furtherly converted to carbon dioxide and what 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 if they given you put answer for carbon dioxide and water if they not given you put answer for hcooh what about this beta this carbon how many times undergo oxidation two, two times two times it is what alcohol or aldehyde alcohol alcohol converted to aldehyde aldehyde converted to carboxylic acid carboxylic acid carboxylic acid why because it is alcohol two times it means we have to do oxidation twice so we need which acid beta HCOH HCOH it also gives HCOH it also gives HCOH 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 this gives aldehyde aldehyde by being as contain only one one line one line so totally we get five moles of HCOH Five moles of HCOH and one mole of HCHO. HCHO. These are the products. So now we are getting on. This is the dealing method of reactions with periodic acid. Periodic acid. Write down there, beta. First of all, <coughs> periodic acid oxidizes. Periodic acid oxidizes. Two OH group present adjacent, or two C double bond row groups adjacent, or one C double bond row one OH group adjacent. Okay, these three areas only reaction take place better. Okay, but I only guess in oxidizes two OH group in adjacent position, two C double bond row groups adjacent position, one C double bond row one OH group. OH group in adjacent position. Examples. First one, this table. First one. Total five moles of formic acid and one mole of formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. After that, complete these reactions. CH three CH OH and CH OH bond CH three. This is I'm reacting with the paraiodic acid HIO four.
What about first product? Two moles of CH three CH four. Ah, two moles of acetaldehyde. What about second product? Two moles of CH three CH four plus H C O O H. Two moles of acetaldehyde, one mole of formic acid. Why? Because the middle one undergo two times oxidation. Oxidation. Third one. No reaction. Very good. Third one, no reaction. Why? Because two O H groups not in. Adjustment. 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 What one I am explaining, beta? This part you know. This part converted to acetaldehyde. Is an C double bond group groups converted to acid acid groups. Here this product C H three C double bond group O H. Wherever C double bond group present, that converted to C O. So the product is one mole of acetic acid. One, sorry, one mole of acetaldehyde. One mole of acetic acid. Acetic acid. What about the fifth one, beta? Two moles of acetone. Ah, uh, two moles of acetone. Very good. Two moles of acetone. What about the sixth product? Two moles of acetic acid. Two moles of acetic acid. Two moles of acetic acid. What about seventh one? Acetaldehyde. <laughs> This is acetaldehyde. This is formaldehyde, sir. First one. Ah, uh, first one. Ah, uh, first one. Formaldehyde. Second one. This gives uh, HCH. No. What about this one, beta? Double time. First time it forms. Carboxylic acid. But we have to do how many times better? Two times. Two times. Two times. It gives carbon dioxide plus water. Water. What about this one? H C O H. H C O O H. Okay. Listen, here carbon dioxide and water they give me means to put like that better, but I am not giving here. It is. This is formic acid, formic acid, formic acid, formic acid. This is formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. So two moles of formaldehyde. One, two, three, four moles of formic acid. Formic acid. But listen, sometimes instead of formic acid, they will give H two O and C O two. C O two and H two. Next one. Gartenmann Koch reaction. Gartenmann Koch reaction. We already discussed the Gartenmann reaction. Gartenmann reaction is different. Gartenmann. Koch reaction is different. What is Gartenmann reaction? Sandmeier reaction is what better? What is Sandmeier reaction? Sandmeier reaction. If I take BdC, benzene diazonium chloride, N2 plus I mean Cl minus. Cl minus. If I did Cu Cl by HCl. Okay, what happened, beta? This 
ക്ലോറിൻ ഫ്രം കാർബർ ക്ലോറൈഡ് ഒരു സബ്സ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ആണ് ബെൻസീൻ ബെൻസീൻ റിംഗ് so this reaction is which reaction chlorobenzene it gives this is sand major sand major reaction so suppose listen carefully sometimes they will give reaction like this also again n2 plus and cl minus copper by hc uh, copper by hcl i am taking at this moment what happen beta the chlorine from hcl substitute on benzene benzene this is which reaction cutterman reaction this is sandman reaction this is cutterman reaction cutterman okay in sandman reaction compulsory halogen from copper will substitute on benzene in cutterman reaction halogen from hcl substitute on benzene ring benzene so now we are going to discuss cutterman coach reaction coach reaction right down cutterman coach reaction cutterman coach reaction benzene plus co plus hcl this is anhydrous alcl3 and hydrous al cl3 see carefully this is c triple bond like this and it carbon monoxide only na me correct beta yes sir this oxygen contains lone pair lone pair now listen this al cl3 act as lewis acid al cl3 Uh, plus HCl gives rise to AlCl4 minus plus H plus H plus. Now this lone pair H plus. This is donate lone pairs only, na? Huh? Yes, sir. So at that moment, what happens? Huh? This oxygen gets positive charge to neutralize positive charge. This bond shift here. At that moment, what happens? C double bond O bond H here. Which charge will come? positive charge now it acts as electrophile it will display some to the substitute on which bond ch here which is a ch oxygen together which electrophile will which which group will substitute better here cho cho so directly it will give which product benzaldehyde benzaldehyde so this mechanism known as beta rafide i given to you so directly you take benzene co hcl anhydrous al cl3 gives benzaldehyde the mechanism of this simple beta al cl3 react with cl minus it forms al cl 4 minus now this plus will come out and then co and h together that forms cho cho that cho will substitute on ring benzene so totally your product is acetaldehyde sorry benzaldehyde this is your gutterman okay reaction the same gutterman coach reaction like this also possible beta right? ch2cl you react with the lead nitrate pbno3 taken twice now also it will give same product We are also become same product, red nitrate. <laughs> Next, Friedel-Crafts acetylation reaction. Friedel-Crafts acetylation. Friedel craft acetylation CH3C double bond O Cl and using Al Cl3 beta. So now what is the product here?
If you want mechanism for this reaction, see here it is. What happened first? CH3C double bond O Cl react with ALCL3. It forms ALCL4 minus plus CH3C double bond O plus. This act as base, this act as. Electrophile. Now I am taking benzene. This is CH3 bond C double bond O plus. This will shift on to this. Okay. So at that moment, what is the product? Here it is. Here it is C double bond O bond. CH3 are positive charge and here it is hydrogen. Here to your compound losing aromaticity. To get back aromatic character, it finds out H plus. So here it is instead of that ALCL4 minus also we convert into ALCL3 plus Cl minus. <laughs> Here it is firing H plus that is with Cl minus come out as HCl. So here it is minus HCl totally again benzene on that which will present C double bond O bond CH3. Listen once again this is. CH3 C double bond O Cl ALCl3 ALCl4 minus and CH3 C double bond O plus. Yes. This is the electrophile. This electrophile attacking on the benzene ring. This is the situation. It is losing aromatic character. To get back aromatic character, it finds out H plus ALCl4 minus base also will convert into ALCl3 and Cl minus. The reason is H plus and Cl minus both come out as HCl. Now one benzene ring C double bond O CH3. That is acetophenol. This is acetone group beta. This is C6H5 phenyl group. Acetophenone, ketone. Acetophenone. Next, physical properties. Physical properties. Physical properties. Up to this, they will ask in Monday exam later. Okay? Physical yes, properties. That we will discuss tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.